What's going on YouTube? I am the Fit Life Champ and we back. Today what we are going to be doing is preparing a little sea moss. I'll show you how to uh, get that ready. I drink a lot of sea moss, especially in my teas and stuff. So this is going to be an Irish sea moss we're going to prepare today. Now I already, uh, I've already had some of this soaking overnight. So I'll get grab that out of the fridge in a second. But what you want to do with this, you want to uh, grab a piece of it. This is how it looks. It should be tight, crunchy texture to it. It shouldn't be having, it shouldn't be salty and have salt flakes um, coming out of it. So I'm going to get a, a small portion because it's just me. I'm just making this for me. And I'll save this. This is gold Irish sea moss, okay? So you're just going to take your container. Boom, drop it in the container. You with me so far? And we're going to use spring water. We're going to use spring water to um, soak this. We're going to soak this uh, just overnight, okay? We're going to soak it with lime and spring water, all right? So let me grab that. So here's my lime. Two limes. Drop them in there. And I'm going to use some crystal geyser for my spraying water. So we're just going to fill that up. <clears throat> and this, is, this should grow to like three times its natural size. All right. Two or three times its natural size. So I got some lime in there. And this is what it'll look like when you're soaking it. Okay. Let's just soak it in there with some lime. That's all. Now, like I said, I, I've had some of this soaking overnight already, so I'll just pull it out the fridge and I'll put this in the fridge, right? All right, so this is how your sea moss will look after it's soaked. As you can see, it's grown a little bit. You can see, you know, it's starting to look like something out of the sea, right? So boom, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna, add, we're gonna add some more spring water and we're gonna bring it out to a boil. All right, so pot, spring water. We're gonna take our sea moss out of here. Let's give this a rinse. We wanna give this a quick rinse. I'll give this a quick rinse. All right, here we go. Gave that a quick rinse. Now we're just going right in the pot. You know what? I'm going to cut this up. I'm, I'm skipping steps. Give me a second. Let me cut this up. Uh, let me grab a knife. All right. So we're going to go ahead and chop this sea, sea moss up before we... um before we boil it into a nice reduction. So as you can see, all I'm doing is just, look at those tentacles. Should be nice and like thin. So I'm gonna just chop this up, right? Turn my hot water on. And we going in the pot. Check me out, just like that, simple and plain. Boom, now this sea moss has, I believe it's like 90 or 92 of the 102 uh, essential um, vitamin and minerals that the body needs and it requires. So we just going right here, just like that. And let that boil. I'm gonna let you check out. That's what it's gonna look like while it's boiling. We're gonna let that boil for a little bit. All right, while this is boiling, I'm gonna put away this water. Now, once I'm done with this, you can put this in almost anything. I'm gonna put a little um, 
I'm gonna put a little vanilla extract in there, like a like a quarter teaspoon, and I'm gonna add some. Uh, I'm gonna add some sugar in the raw, like three packs. That way, it'll have a nice little flavor to it. I can put it in oatmeal. I can put it in a, a smoothie. I can. Um, you can even like put it in applesauce. Put it in the kids' ice cream. Put it in whatever you want. Now, once this starts boiling down, once this starts boiling down and it gets the right consistency, I'm gonna let it cool off just a, a hair and blend it with this. To, to get the consistency I want. All right, so we'll, so we'll let that, we'll let that boil and simmer. And um, I'll come back and I'll show you what to do after this is boiled and cooled off. Finally right. got the consistency I want, guys. Check out this consistency and how smooth and creamy this is. Check that out. That's what you want. All right, so let's back out here. Now, we're gonna let this cool off a little bit. I'll make my sea moss, guys. See what I got going on? Blend it up. This works just like a blender, same concept, right? Cool. Now what we'll do is pour that right into our glass container. See that? This is a very, very small batch. I'm just giving you an example of how to make it. Very, very tiny batch. That's even enough sugar. I'm not going to put any more sugar in there. Okay. And this will probably last me two weeks two, three weeks. We're gonna do that shot of uh, vanilla extract. We'll mix that. And this is what we're working with, guys. We just hooked up our uh, sea moss. I can dig it. All right. So we're going to let this cool off. This tastes good. This is our final product. This is our final product. This is what our consistency will look like. All right. Sea moss. The champ checking out. Peace.